Hi! 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 is back with y'all with some Attack of Time Season 3, Episode 11. Travis Scott, favorite song, Bystander. I'm joking, not my favorite song. His favorite song. <laughs> no Bystander, baby. That's the one that's like, fuck the club up, right? Yeah. Is it? Bitch. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, I love doing that part. I, I always like, bitch. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Uh, so, so I just confirmed Kylie Jenner. I am. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so what happened last, Rena? Oh my god, I put on the spot. Uh, last thing we saw was Historia defeating Harfaja, which was really nice to see, and she becoming queen. And also, we la- last left on the mi- monkey monkey beast. He was like, finding the coordinates is our top priority. So we're going to see more of that side, I'm assuming, mm-hmm. hopefully. I don't know. It's, a lot of interesting things happen. It's been a month and a half. Yeah, so please no. forgive us. And as we slowly get into the episode, as Sura said, I think the uh, RE word is called oh, recall, re, re something. Recall, recycle, Recy- re, 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 retain. Reuse, reduce, recycle, retain. guys. Today, today is August 18th, and the last time we saw the episode was July 21st. Yeah. Uh, so, like, almost a, a month ago. Yeah. Uh, an older episode on YouTube came where I asked them to, like, tell people to subscribe. Because, like, you know, 60% of people aren't subscribed. And you guys actually did it, so shout out to the Aww. comments. Oh! Shout out, to all of you guys. Shout out to the Attack of Time friend, you know, baby. We love our subscribers. Yep. All right. Well, uh, guys. Hey, this is not a market substitute. Yes. Be sure to hit the like button. Look at this. Good job, Patrick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Patrick on fire today, I know. Bro. And if he doesn't smoke weed today, you know, you, you, you <laughs> don't be <able> to <laughs> Let it be a lesson to us all. Nice palace. Don't look back for me. Yeah, she's not exactly legal. Part of why Historia agreed to become queen in the first place. So she could do all this. She went from the underground to the edge of the walls and saved all the orphans in need she could find. She even got the captain into it. Yay! She grew up underground. Levi. Something Y'all need to see the Levi OVAs, I think. No one needs didn't we? She has to oh, no, we didn't. All. So you're practicing hardening. And Easy. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Damn, man. <laughs> I hope we find out soon about this world and how it became like this. After all that we've done, I don't want to end up with any regrets. Hey, shut the fuck up. We're going to have a conversation. <laughs> Men and their anger this problems. The You're doing good things here. Which is funny considering how you said that humanity should get wiped out. Oh, come on. I got carried away. Mm. Oh, my God. She's like, Bro, oh, she depressed? I'm talking to my boy. What is it? Give me those. Uh, hey. You need to rest between the <laughs> That's true. So See a little love triangle gr- brewing here? As part of the coup d'etat, the military had to purge people of considerable talent from its ranks. But discoveries such as the glowing ore in the underground cavern counteracted these losses. Damn. Sonus. Also, thanks to Aaron's hardening ability, a powerful new anti-Titan weapon. Yay! Was well, that's it. Jam your big head in here. Do it now! Oh! Oh! Nice! That's fucking cool. That's Fuck. smart. This could be it. What are you trying to do? Kill it? Kill them. This is like a. I'm just testing if that if that will work. Yeah. It's like a way to trap them, like a, a rat trap with cheese or something. Just keep hurting them in there. Yeah. With this baby, we can kill Titans without putting any soldiers at risk. Say hello to the executioner from hell. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Those is bleeding. He must have overused his Titan abilities. He's been doing hardening experiments for days. I'm sorry, Aaron. We can't slow down just because we're tired, right? Let's just make these weapons quickly. Bro, you can run out of blood. With weapons like that, killing Titans will be easy as breathing. You're so damn excitable. <laughs> I'm sure they're going to learn. They're going to adapt. That reminds me. Didn't Hitch try to convince you to stay an MP? Wait, Hitch? How come? Because she's a thirsty girl. <laughs> she thinks you're a tall glass of water. <laughs> say I follow <laughs> Come on, bro. She told me I should stop acting cool and just coast along in life. I had thought she was better than that. So I told her I was wrong about her. Asshole. Are you that dumb, Marlon? No brain under that bull cut. <laughs> <laughs> you, wrong? you should notice that the only people as excited as you are the new recruits with no real battle experience. Give me a break. You think you're some kind of hardened veteran now? Damn, bro. I know I am compared to you, at least. <laughs> That's rude. Flock. Flotch. Flotch. Flock. I think it's Flock. Y'all stupid. You think so? Well, you guys do seem a little different now. Yeah, we've killed There's humans. What <laughs> exactly happened? Wanna know? Damn. Mm. No. I'll 
Ask some of them. Little bitch, you scared. If they look like they've murdered people, they probably have. Yep. I think we could turn Connie's mom back to normal someday. I mean, it's not impossible, is it? If our knowledge about Titans continues to improve, then yeah. Maybe. So much has happened that I haven't had time to question it. Who do you guys think that it is we're fighting against? The thing is, I've always hated the Titans. But what if they're just people being tormented by some nightmare? For a time at least, I was one of them myself. Damn. Aaron! <laughs> you still have bread and soup left. Remember. You shouldn't be talking until you've finished your meal. Damn! Damn. Just always telling you him what to do. For real, you controlling little. Enough with the sad mumbling already. <laughs> it's all you do these days. Damn. Bro, he kill people. When Rice and Historia touched you, you said you saw a scout that must have known your dad, right? Oh. Yeah. He might have been with my dad when the wall fell. That's good advice. I can't shake the feeling that I've met him somewhere. Do you mean he seemed familiar to you? Or just your dad? Me, I think. It might help to smack yourself in the head. Yeah. <laughs> try that out. Instead of holding hands with Historia, mm. you got a headbutt from the Commandant. But that it helped me remember right. Is it him? Same eyes, right? Nah. <laughs> That's who I saw with my dad. It's coming on shot us. Let's go. You all remember Aaron ate his dad, right? Yeah. yeah. His regular it's, it's, it's fucking Aaron's dad's fault for fucking doing it. You get eaten. Yeah, what do you think was gonna happen? Like, what literally, you like... Coming down shot us. What do you know who you really are? Who is he? We should be prepping to recapture Walmaria. Tell me, why do you suppose we came to speak with you instead? <laughs> this motherfucker knows. Aaron, you look like your mother in almost every way. However, the daggers I see within your eyes, those are your father's. Ooh. Tell me about the opposite of Harry Potter. Tell me everything you know. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you a story that's of no value whatsoever to humanity. Uh, what? <laughs> the my past is nothing but a bystander. Hey, well, that's Maybe not bystander. useful for him and not everybody else. Sometimes we're all just bystanders, man. Mm -hmm. We're just a bystander in a simulation, yo. Uh. Hey, what are you doing? How the hell did you get here? Did you climb down the wall somehow? Wait, why would any of you venture outside the walls? Don't tell me you're trying to fight those things. Huh? Was it the truth or a lie? He said he couldn't remember why he was outside the walls. All of his memories have been lost. Everything aside from his name. Who knew it was a crime to go into Titan territory without permission? I bet he's the first guy who's tried to- Hannes always soft up. Mm -hmm. Something tells me there's also a law that jails idiots who drink on duty. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's not like he actually hurt anybody. So let's just keep it to ourselves, yeah? Do you have any idea where you'll go from here? Do you think you could teach me about this world, I mean? And about the scouts too. He fucking infiltrated that shit. Yeah, he infiltrated, bro. His dad is. And everything about Sandal, you bitch, you infiltrated. Yeah, yep, yep. He was set up. He brought in. Someone brought him in here. Although there's inequality, life in the walls is largely peaceful. And if nothing else, you aren't living in constant fear of the Titans. He falls in love with a freaking human. Uh huh. We're trapped inside these walls. But as long as there's plenty of food and alcohol to go around, most people are just fine with that. In their whole lives, they'll never question how wide the world might be. Uh, is that why you risk your life to venture outside the wall? To see how wide the world is? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Does it seem foolish? No, quite the opposite. The scouts are wiser and braver than anyone else living within the walls. Their very existence is living proof that the imagination and soul of mankind Bruh. are still free. Because they can't control all them like the other titans. Is he the monkey titan? No, he's the monkey. No, the monkey brother. Monkey titan sent him. Bro yeah, brother, friend. And then he falls in love for a human. And he's not a doctor, he's a scientist. Oh, oh no. that's the wife. I'm not really suited for this. <laughs> it's cute. The little corset. She. Uh -huh. You have to be a chosen one. That's one way to put it. <sighs> you can't be a scout because you have to be I a chosen was one. Chosen. That was the first time anyone had told me that. But I knew that those walls were far too cramped for me. He's a cutie. <laughs> you know, the big baby. He'll eat you alive. <laughs> when will you finish the base outside the wall? If only I was commander, I could show results. As idiotic as these people are, I'd accomplish so much that even they'd understand, and then everyone would have to acknowledge me. Oh, mm -hmm. he likes her? Mm-hmm. Oh. Grisha! Carla caught the plague that's going around. They say there's no cure, but... Put her in the rear bed. 
Please, Dr. Yeager, my mom and dad. They've gotten sick too. Don't take that off. Well, them. you're a Titan. Yeah. Doctor, it's a miracle! My wife is well again! Dr. Yeager, thank you so much! He is, this how he 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 is, is this how you started Titans? Yes, he's how you started Titans. Oh my god! He he betrayed the monkey man. He is betrayed it. Oh my lord. And he's shitty, man. He just saw wow. someone else took his girl. He did become commander eventually, but... Ah, uh, this was like the very first episode when they came back. keeps leading his men straight to death, yet he's the only one who always lives. That's not quite true. I hear no one on Erkan's squad has died yet. Then maybe he should be commander. Hell yeah. Look, well, people try their best. There he is, baby Jaeger. Oh. He's cute. Oh, I know. <laughs> his big old eyeballs. Carla, who's the kid? Aaron. Our baby boy. I guess the news never made it your way. Has For over nine months. Are you planning to keep this up until you get yourself killed? <sighs> I think it's time. Do you want to know why most people live and die without accomplishing a single damn thing? It's because they've lost their imaginations. They'll complacently waste their entire lives, unashamed of the fact that all they'll ever add to the world is shit. Such people are little more than cattle and <gasps> Cattle. Not yeah. even when it's right in front of them. So a girl who flirts with every man in sight. One who's good for absolutely nothing aside from keeping people's drinks full. Could never. <laughs> it's true. Normal people can't accomplish a thing. Hey, Ervin, I want you to take my command. Special people do exist. All this means is that I was never one of them. Aw. Damn. I see, yeah. That is sad. We're all special, oh, though, God, right? <laughs> Here's a memory. Oh yeah, that's why. It's because of what you said. Aaron, wake up, Aaron. Why wasn't your mother with you? I'm sorry. Mom was trapped, and Titan came. <laughs> Aaron, you'll avenge her. You must. What the? Where are you going? Please don't follow us, Grisha. Why not avenge Carla yourself? I know you could do it. All this time, you were the one who was special. What if that boy is the same as me? What if he isn't a chosen one either? This child is a black cube, Keith. Aaron is my son. Please don't get involved. This is a family affair. Yup. Aaron's like, I'm not gonna remember any of this. <laughs> you gonna inject me with some shit? After I found you, I carried your unconscious body back to the shelter. So you had the key now. And left. And that is everything I know. The Commandant was right. Just like him, I was never special. I was just the son of the man who was. After I yelled at her, this is what your mother said back. Why should anyone have to be special? <laughs> Damn. That just isn't the way I like to look at things. And when it comes to my child, I don't care if he grows up to be great. My son doesn't have to be better than anyone. After all, just look at him. He's so cute. Aww. I think Aaron's special enough already. That's how you got a big head. You've been telling him special oh ever since he was God. little. No, it's because he was born into this world, bro. If you were born into this world, you're special. And you, it's important. Just like your father wanted, chose to set your life ablaze. And let it burn to ashes outside the walls. Wait. Did he fucking try to mess his ass up? Yeah. What a bitch, Keith. Remember when he. <laughs> yeah. I'm really a bystander. Yep. Nah, you special too, Keith. You were born into this world. Things. Wow. Things, things, things. What do you guys think about the things? A lot of shows yeah. drop. So it feels like... Huh. Do you guys feel like you're a bystander or do you feel like you're special? I'm special. Why? Because I'm a motherfucking god. Because you're a god? Mm. Everybody's a god if you think about it. If you want to be a god, you can be a god. I think we're all special because we were born. I'm going to go with Aaron's ideology. Or Grish, oh, what's her name? Carla. Carla? You were, we were born into this world, therefore we are special. Yeah. You know, that's a, 
one in two million chance or some shit. We beat we we won the most important race of our lives, people, and that was the eight centimeter journey from your daddy's dick to your mommy's pussy. <laughs> oh, to your mommy's my. egg in, in, inside the pussy to your your Stop. mom's egg. We won that, right? I mean, we're special. No, we're not. I mean, you got to admit. Huh? Oh, my God. Anyway. Compared to all, there's like mil- millions of others. Could it? I mean, so uh, did, did, I'm, did, I'm, did, I'm dissecting it too much. But you know what he means? You're, you're born into this world. You're, Or you know what she means. Never mind. Go on. What? <laughs> I guess. After that entire scene, he said, never mind. I guess. But never mind. You know what I'm talking about. Uh-huh. I, 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 not the way I said it. Uh-huh. I was joking. But yeah. just in a sense that you are a part of this world, you, you should be appreciative of that. And, like, you you deserve freedom. So, you deserve you deserve to be here. You're special because you were born into the world. Um, until you fuck up, right? Like, until, like, God, like, until you become a murderer, a wow. serial rapist. Wow, we're all not become Yeah. Bad. You're still special, I guess. You still are? Yeah, but not in a good way. Like, you're especially bad. Especially uh, bad. <laughs> anyway, what did you guys think of Keith? Keith's story. Uh, <laughs> I I think it was you just said. It was just another episode to like get more details about the dad and his uh, motivation. Uh, I think Keith was just the biased dinner. He was just telling us a story to like close the gap with his dad. I didn't get new information. I don't know if you guys who tell me some new information. Uh, new information it. you got is Grisha was outside the walls when shot. Yeah, I think him. that's uh, that was really came important. Came in and like yeah. acted like his memory was gone, but he knew. I mean, I won't say acted. Oh, he so definitely acted. His memory acted. was gone. No, no, he, yeah, he, 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 if you know doctor shit. That's he, just a weird, yeah. like, weird selective exactly. cognitive loss. Exactly. That's why I, I, I think Runner said the, the the monkey guy sent him there. He's in front of the place, and then I think he didn't. Uh, I think the whole plan was supposed to be going a different way but he probably fell in love with Carla and you know yeah I feel like I don't know if they're brothers or whatever but they're in cahoots yeah. basically and like he was like yeah you're because like uh, Keith was telling him his like part of his story and he was like yeah man, you mankind people are like mankind still has like a soul and emotions and he's like I think he's trying to like figure that out too but then yeah falls in love with Carla and when everybody gets sick I feel like he injected them with him like some part the of titans. himself yeah and now they're all fucking titans yeah this is dad's I, I de- fault. I, de- I definitely think that might be it. Uh, I do like one thing that they said a lot was that how if you have no imagination, it leads to complacency, which is 100% fucking truth. Mm. Uh, I love it also when he was talking about how everyone thinks like they're going to go out and do something and usually only a select few actually do. That's also facts. If you look in the world, there's only select few people actually do shit and most of the people just coast through life yeah. being a clog in the machine. Yeah. So it's up to you what you want to do. Yeah, yeah, but then I guess Carla's clapback was like, "I don't care what Aaron does." Like, but then they, they, he's, they, kid, they, he's special. I don't know. So then it's, we'll, it's two different. But then, then if that's if, if there's two different things, if you're okay with that, then you got to be okay with living in constant fear. Because like the room, yeah, with their world, with yeah. their world, then yeah. you got to be okay with living in constant. Because if they're not going to go out to conquer new horizons and try and find a new safe spot or trying to get away the situation, then yeah. So, but then like you heard like he said like he was like. So like uh, Grisha was questioning Keith like you guys want to go explore the outside why why do you guys want to go so like why are they stopping them from exploring everything what is, what is out there I think I think Grisha was just surprised more than anything like why would you go out there like there's titans out there so like why would you go but I think he was but, interested in the fact that like he was trying to figure out what their motive was yeah. to go out there like despite being in the walls protected by titans like humanity still has like we're gonna be like no what the fuck is out there like he, I think he was more like that's in- impressive or it's interesting you know what i mean yeah. that people are, are going out anyway not much else but i, I like seeing it. he uh, fucked it with his equipment remember when aaron wasn't getting it yeah, yeah so that was, that was yeah, fucked yeah, up yeah, yeah. yeah but he still got it so fuck yeah, you Keith. Yeah, yeah, yeah also did, does aaron still have that keychain that he showed in the flashback a lot i think he still has a key it's does not he, on I, him though yeah, no, but i think present, he, but yeah. he has it so he doesn't have to go look for that key so yeah he, no, he has no. the key so he, he, just, key, he, he just need to go. find that hut house or whatever house that his daddy took him to yeah Cave, yeah maybe. but it got smacked remember when they ate the mom basement. so that was that house but I mean, it was the basement so yeah basement. they got they have to go back it's also sad to see how they all change like flock was asking them he's like tell stories and they're all like do you really want to hear this shit Flock, such a stupid name. Flock, flock. I think it's Floosh. Floosh. <laughs> I'm gonna call him Floosh. 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 OG Floke. Floke. All right, gang. All right. We're gonna move on to the next episode. You can catch it right now gang, on gang. Patreon. Bye. Check it out. See ya. Bye. Bye.
Thanks for watching Attack on Titan with the Normies. Check us out on Patreon for early access and uncut content. As always, special shout out to our super patrons, Keyboard Junkie and Joe Mags. Thanks, and we'll see you all next time.